What's going on, viewers for the internet? I'm ready to get 95 back for some more Pikmin. Okay, so I want to say last time we finished off the Force of Hope. Yeah, we got all the parts of this area. We don't need to come back here anymore. Uh, this time, I believe I said I'm going to raise some more Pikmin. Oh yeah, I really need to raise my numbers. So let's go ahead and get started with Day 9 back at the Impact site. I'm just going to raise some more Pikmin here. So, the upside of getting that... uh. The second ship part here is we don't have to worry about we have to worry about it again for one thing, but also it's been replaced by another pearl. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can get my numbers back up. Uh no, wrong button, Joseph. 55. Let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and get 20 yellows. Usually you don't need too many yellows, at least I don't. So that should be uh, 75, yeah. So, how many should be reds? I'm gonna need a lot more than that. Let's see, or will I? Let me see here. Okay, so the Pikmin. <clears throat> I'm sorry, the onions. Okay, I'm also show off this guy. See? The iridescent flint beetle, yeah. You wanna target this guy and fight him. He can't die. But he'll drop a lot of goodies. Yeah, see? Look at all that nectar, too. And, unfortunately, a lot of Bud Pikmin are eating it. See, so I was saying before... That the Onion actually has a priority system. Uh, sure, yeah, you guys can take that over. The Onion has a priority system. And it prioritizes giving you Flower Pikmin first... Uh, then the- Oh, God! Oh, come on! What a cheap shot! Really, game? That's a cheap shot! Come on, that's dirty! My God! Uh, I was not expecting that to show up where it did. That is the Gulix. Yeah, see. So the way you fight the Gulix is you have to get blue Pikmin in there. Because it acts like water, see? Uh, I wanted to raise some red Pikmin. Come on, man, what kind of cheap shot is that? That's dirty! I wasn't supposed to see that com I wasn't able to see that coming! See, so there are 13 Pikmin... ...that are trying to lift this thing. Okay. Okay, I don't- I don't wanna- <sighs> Crap. I did it. yeah, I didn't want to accidentally do that! Are you serious, game? Come on! Yeah, that's what I was trying to prevent, it happened anyway, of course! Thanks, game! Okay, there's 20. What I was trying to do is this. Yeah, the pearly clam clamp that's over here can be targeted by red Pikmin. Or I guess taken down by red Pikmin. And remember, we need three Pikmin to be able to carry this thing. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can actually uh, try to take down the Gulix. Because as long as I use blue Pikmin, it shouldn't be a problem. Alright, took it out. Get over here, guys. Let's go ahead and have these guys carry the pearl back to base, and we'll get some... We'll get 50 red Pikmin out of it. Nice. Let's see. So, I'm actually recording this on uh, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving night. Uh, the time that you'll see this Let's Play go up will depend on whether... Uh, Two other games that I have planned, uh, like, go wrong, you know? The games in question are Knack and Forgotten Anne. Forgotten Anne was a game that I was going to record next. Like, after Knack. But I decided to go with Pikmin, just so I have something short, in case, uh, those games go south. Okay, so what you want to do with the Gulix here, you see that core? Yeah, you want to have the blue Pikmin targeted. 
Oh, I, I actually have the, uh, I actually have the wrong side. The core is that little marble-like area. Yeah, see? And the Pikmin are completely unfazed by it. Oh, wow, that takes a lot of hits, man. Oh, God, that really does take a lot of hits. I actually thought this was the core over here, see? But it doesn't seem like... Ugh. It doesn't seem like that they're really targeting it. So it looks like the Gulags here can actually deflower your Pikmin. Or not deflower. Oh, I actually almost... There we go! There we go. And there's a lot of pellets for us. Nice. Some of these guys are actually uh, out of bounds. I guess I can go ahead and have them uh, take these pellets back. The colors don't match, but they don't necessarily need to. It's okay if they don't. So, I was saying before, I recorded this on Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving night. So, some of you, many of you are probably thinking, Hey, Joseph, why aren't you spending time with your family? Uh, so, that's actually part of the reason why I really don't have much to talk about in my YouTube videos. Believe it or not. Because I really have no family to spend time with. Like, I have no extended family to look forward to for the holidays, you know? So, my family, my immediate family, we never celebrated Christmas with... Where's the last guy? My immediate family never celebrated Christmas with uh, extended family. Because my mom was always like, Well, we need to celebrate Christmas with anyone but the four of us. So, you know, that's not really much of an issue here. But it's more so the fact that I don't have any extended family to look forward to for Thanksgiving, you know? We used to have family over for Thanksgiving when I was in, uh, when I was younger, when I was a kid. Oh, they're already doing the job that I wanted. Okay, nice. But, as I was saying, that's part of the reason why I don't really have much to say in my YouTube videos. Because it really does feel to me that everybody else, you know, loves having family over for the holidays and it's something they look forward to at the end of every year. But, to put it simply, like, my extended family consists of uh, some pretty, some pretty horrible people. Like, the kind of shit that they do, it involves beating, like sexual sexual molestation things stuff like that you know and my mom was like well I don't want to bring my kids into uh, that kind of conflict so you know, we just she just stopped keeping contact with my extended family and now because I really have nothing to look I really don't have that to look forward to anymore for Thanksgiving it's like just being told Happy Thanksgiving really pisses me off and upsets me. Also, at the time that I'm recording this, it's two days before I put up my webcomic. I don't know when exactly this video is going up, but... Since my webcomic will definitely be up by now, I can say that the name of it is Bluebird City Comic. I wanted to say it, uh, so many other times. Oh, crap. I wanted to say it so many other times, but I just wasn't able to. For fear of having the name be taken by somebody else. Like beating me to the punch, you know? Okay, I don't need that many blues. What I want to do is raise some more reds. Okay, come on. Okay, oh god, that could actually be held by a lot of Pikmin. No, dismiss. So yeah, that's part of the reason why I don't really have much to say during my videos. I I also don't even have a cho much of a chosen family. There's Danny and Cypher Sake 89, but like Cypher Sake 89 is in another state. I thought I had a yellow Pikmin for a second there. No, he would have been drowning. So like I didn't even have that going for me either. It's just it's just too tough to make friends. Like the pandemic is still going on at the time that I'm recording this and. I can't justify the cost of keeping a subscription to a friend-finding app, you know? I just can't. It's not worth it to me. So yeah, I really have nothing to look forward to for Thanksgiving. Like, 
and also, my memory is absolute shit. Like, I can't remember just most of anything from my childhood. Even within video games. So, it's like, what am I gonna, what am I gonna talk about in regards to, uh, what went on when I was a kid? Or with my family, or friends, you know? Because I really have nobody else to talk with. And it's like, my mom would argue, oh, you can always talk to your immediate family. Well, there are just some things that I don't want, want my family to know about, you know? I'm not going to say uh, what they are. But it's like, my mom has always raised me to, uh, she's using the term problem solving for as long as I can remember, since I was in fourth grade, I believe. I think this is going to be a close one here. And it's like, it, you, you really can't let me just resolve these problems on my own? She's the one who's always saying I'm an adult and I can take care of myself. But, part of the reason why I don't really say much of these videos either is because, like, my memory's terrible. Sometimes I do wonder about my spotty memory, though, like... Okay, so one thing that- one memory that really stuck with me for some reason is I thought that according to my second grade ID card, I weighed 110 pounds, but I actually managed to find that thing hidden away in my mom's, uh, one of my mom's memory boxes, and I found out the ID card was issued in- are you serious right now? The ID card was issued in 2003, late 2003. Now it comes out, and it turns out it weighed 114 pounds. Oh, thanks for the reminder, game. Okay. Anyway, I'm delaying this because I want to get some red Pikmin out of it. Unfortunately, I don't think the game is going to tell me uh, what exactly I have in the onions because, uh, to be perfectly honest, I find this really hard, really difficult to read. Like, obviously, the, the top is Pikmin with Ol Olimar, and the bottom is Pikmin and the Onion. But then you have to take into account... 82 free. I'm bad at math, basically, and I, I don't want to try figuring that out. I've always been bad at math, that's the reason I failed college not once but twice, not once but twice, but thrice. Because math is the thing that always kicked my ass. Kicked my ass brutally at that. Okay, come on, yeah. I know those guys, I knew those guys were coming. But I don't want them to get caught on the wall here. See, so... Uh, Olimar can actually muse why the Pikmin don't attack him. And the reason for that is because uh, the Pikmin like the sound of Olimar's whistle. See, it was briefly blue. Okay. Now, where is that one straggler? No, I press plus. Oh god, dismiss! Why do you guys keep following me? I can't see where he is. Is this sir is this this sir's the it? Oh, I know where he's at. Hold on. He's inside the box. There, see? He's inside the box. That's why it was so tough to read. It's almost sundown. Uh, I really don't think I got my numbers high enough. But I'll have to make do with what I've got. Okay. Number matching isn't important right now. Let's see. Uh, you know what? I think there's a little something up here as well. Uh. Uh, that's not the one that I was looking for. I thought there was, like, a red one. Maybe that was my imagination. Oh, no! It- Oh. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Oh, unfortunately, I ended up losing some Pikmin to some bullcrap. Like, seriously, why- Why did that even happen? He should have already been there, the Gulix. Wait, well, that's everyone. So, I guess I can just go ahead and end the day.
And anyway, we didn't leave any behind. Nine days since impact. It really isn't Flint Beetle. This creature's hypnotic reflective body is quite hard, giving it a good defense against Pikmin attacks. Why then did Pikmin chase it in such a frenzy? I wonder if it will undergo any change if I hit it directly with Pikmin. We already saw what it did. It gives out some pretty cool stuff. Okay, these numbers are looking... Red's de Red and yellow are definitely good to go. But I'm not so sure about the blue Pikmin. I can always come back to raise more. And that'll about just about do it for this day, huh? So next time... See, we're not going to go into the Distant Spring yet. We're going to go back to the Forest Naval. And see what we can do about moving forward, huh? See you then.